Hi everyone. So finally, we have uh, control net models in Flux. We currently have the control net depth, and this version of the Flux control net does not need very high VRAM. So the previous versions uh, were exceeding like 13 or 14 GB VRAM. This one I am running on uh, my RTX 4060, which is a 8 GB VRAM, and uh, again, like it does not take much time. Although I am using the Hyper LoRa. But still, it is like one and a half minute to two minutes, right? And I am also using the skin enhancer. So locally, it is quite fast coming from where we were using like control nets, which we are taking a long time. And and this is purely a flux control net only. And you will get all the links in the description below. Don't worry, I'll provide uh, everything. I'll just explain first what's happening. Then I'll uh, give some tips how to load the models, etc. And then I'll run another image and show the complete generation as well. So currently I am uploading a random image here, right? And this is a woman in a skirt to show the drastic change. And this is not just an image to image. I'll be generating an image in daytime and I'll be changing all the colors and everything. So basically a green top and a denim miniskirt. That is what we are going from. And there would be a city background. So this is the uh, prompt here. One interesting thing I wanted to mention, and this is something I recently saw in the Flux 1.1 uh, Pro videos that uh, they were putting this kind of uh, like prompts, right? And what I have found is this actually generates slightly realistic images. So uh, what is this? You just put any image IMG and either you put underscore or you cannot put like do not put underscore. That's up to you. You can put any random name, uh, any random number. This does not actually matter much. This dot CR2 and this image actually makes it feel that it is, this is a raw file from a, a DSLR. So CR2 was originally a Canon raw file. And I think CR3 came after 2018 or 19. So uh, a lot of the images that were used in training may have been from the raw files as well or something similar to that. Right. So it gets the idea. I have put it two times. And other than that, it is a very like uh, simple prompt. Nothing much going on. So it comes here. Now, one thing you would see is that there is this control net model, right? So firstly, you'll get the link in the description. You have to download it and you have to put it in the control net folder. So there is a control net folder in your uh, Comfy UI. Then you would go to the models folder in the models folder. There is a control net folder. You would need to put this there. Uh, you will download this. I have renamed it to flux depth. It would be easier for you to understand. Second thing. Uh, this I, AIO aux preprocessor, I am using the depth anything version 2, right? So you don't have to do anything in this particular node. Remember this because it will automatically download. Now, this is the image that would be generated in first run. So one interesting thing which is happening here is that when this you can see the dimensions of the images are different. So what I am doing is you get the image from here and you are going to resize it according to whatever you put here. I have put a note which has flux has the maximum uh, capability of two megapixel. So I have put all the dimensions that would be two megapixel. So you can select the ratio from here, right? One thing you just need to remember is that because all of these uh, images are portraits, so the longer side would be the height, right? So I have connected the height here. If you are using something in landscape, maybe like some kind of uh, street photography or something, just connect the width one to the sides. That's it. Everything else is automated. You don't need to do anything else. So here I'm just explaining what is happening. You don't need to do anything. It is resizing it according to the longest side and then whatever this dimension is, it is cropping according to this width and height, right? And it is sending to the latent. 
here you can see the denoising uh, this is actually taking very slight amount of this original image so i am denoising 0.9 so a very slight amount so it just gets some idea and also it is coming from the control net as well so sometimes if you don't get like a perfect image because this is going to create a perfect image you can even see when it comes to hands it is quite perfect even the fingernails and everything are quite perfect the bag the fingernail you can also see the finger uh, interacting with the bag right so it would be that perfect if you don't get it you can slightly change it from 0.8 or 0.9 you don't need to change it almost like 90% of the time it works with 0.9 so you generate this but we are not satisfied with this much so this width and height also comes here this model is the this group is the skin enhancer you can turn it off or on but i'll show you the difference it basically takes this image maps it out first of all it is using a four step model uh, of dream shaper excel turbo it's actually using eight steps here but it is going to be fast because this is sdxl and then you can see the only problem is the eyes get slightly messed up and the fingers get slightly messed up you see uh, it is quite thick here and it is not as perfect and we want perfect image the skin tone is pretty good but the lips and the eyes you can see slightly messed up right so we are going to fix that it automatically goes here where it filter out filters out the face now these florence models directly filter out the mask out the eyes and the mouth so you can see this is filtered out and then both of them get saved i'll tell you what is happening one of these uh, flows is also masking out the hands as well and why i'll be uh, i'll tell you in a minute so this is without the hand masking right just look at the skin texture and eyes the eyes are not changing but the skin texture is changing see on the neck and you can see everywhere like just see the elbows it is way more realistic now the uh, even this like diamond ring as well and you can see the skin and everything becomes way more realistic the nose becomes slightly realistic but the lips and the eyes are not changing because masked out here right but one problem with this is the fingers can get messed up here you can see there are like uh, the wrinkles on the knuckles right and everything here you can see it gets smoothened out and like uh, pretty weird so this particular workflow this particular flow actually keeps the hand same so this is the flux form nothing has changed but here you can see the skin and the ears and everything are changing so you can see the realism in neck so anything that you would say like uh, sometimes flux creates those very high contrasty images this skin enhancer fixes it so when you look this is the final product which looks pretty amazing right and now just to show you i will run this again with the same settings so another image is created so i'll cue the prompt so guys our generation image generation is complete you can see there is a city background there is this like uh, spotlight kind of effect on her but then again like uh, if you generate like two or three times you will get different images as well one thing you can do is that you can also change this random number to get some randomness as well but you can see whatever like whatever the reference image was right it has followed the pose quite well so we have that green crop top we have that denim shorts also this is the flux hand and obviously it got a little bit messed up in sdxl but do not worry about that 
because here the change is fixed because of the hand masks right and then you can see this is the flux generation which in itself looks pretty good but you can see how the skin changes right like the harsh contrast here you can see the patterns how the patterns change you can see this area it gives a way more natural look so this is the final image and it seems like it is pretty good and you have to remember that we are working with sdxl turbo model which is the fast one and also the hyperflux lora so this is another thing like uh, it's just eight steps and when you see this particular image the pose and when you compare it to this you can see that the pose is pretty pretty good right so this is the thing and you can try it and if you have any other comments or doubts or anything like that you can put it in the comment section below and i'll try to reply as fast as i can thank you